Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and today I will cover with you together here the shocking lead over the competition when it comes to production engineering capabilities. We will look into that in detail and we will talk as well about China. And if you do enjoy that, do consider subscribing and we will start right away into um, a short clip here from Moonro Live. Credit goes out to him. He does just great work in taking um, cars apart. And in this case, we do see the thermical system here from the Model Y and we do see how nicely organized it is. And we also know and you do know, yes, range of a car, design of a car, uh, production of a car. These are all one part of a big, bigger thing. And yes, the battery as well is a very, very important part. But many people forget that when looking inside a car, it, there's also a lot of um, possibilities to save weight, um, to be more ahead of competition when it comes to organizing the car inside. And that is what we are looking at here. And the thermical system is a really great example of Tesla working here with nylon cables um, or hoses, I must say. And they have organized everything really, really close together. And now what they are showing here are the hoses for the Ford Mustang Mach-E. So what I want to um, explain here is um, I'm not saying that the so-called competition out there is never going to catch up or is never going to get closer. Of course, they're in a learning process here right now as well. But to be honest with you, uh, Munro Life was as well explaining that the um, that the Ford Mustang Mach-E was one of the best electric vehicles, a part of the Tesla itself. So if that is the best what the competition has, it is quite shocking how far Tesla is ahead of the game. So let me just give you one example. So Tesla has for the thermical system 10 hoses with a length of 6.35 meters. And for the uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E, we are talking about 35 pieces and 18.42 meters. And you see what he's taking here. It is, it is just, it's just crazy. I mean, just look at that. Um, it's, it's not organized. It is kind of like fixed together and it's going left, right, whatever. It, it is chaos. And that is where Tesla is just showing how far they are ahead. Um, furthermore, actually, um, Ford is using rubber. I mean, rubber is not as sustainable as we think. It is actually cheaper. Yes, they use it because it is cheaper, but it is really not a sustainable way of producing a car. And Tesla is using nylon here and nylon is um, way more expensive, but it is much lighter than um, rubber and rubber is more heavy. So you see, these are small differences we see when it comes to the amount of hoses, um, the amount of um, items Tesla uh, needs compared to the Ford Mustang Mach-E. And that is where I think we have this lead right now. Tesla has the lead, but what they are doing is they are getting better. They are not stopping where they are right now. And of course, we do know that as we are looking here at Austin and later at Shanghai, we do know that they are getting better when they are starting to produce ma a mass amount of cars. And when we compare how Tesla has produced cars a few years ago and how they do it right now, it is quite shocking what we could expect when it comes to the quality, the way they build sustainable cars inside compared to the competition out there once Giga Berlin and Austin are actually starting to produce cars because those two factories are the newest, the most modern one with the most um, advanced uh, robots, the most advanced technology when it comes to um, building cars. And this is where I think we will see new cars coming out here in Austin, hopefully in October or November. I'm, I'm really bullish on that. But let me know down below what you think. I think that 
a lot of people will be really shocked to see the amount of quality and changes we might have when it comes to um, the new cars coming out here. And as we have talked about weight, many people forget, yeah, we still have the new battery cells that are coming into place and they will be less, have less weight. So we do see Tesla is working on all fronts to get better. And we also see that this is working really well. And if in one of 10 things Tesla works on is not working out perfectly, you still have nine things they are working on to get better. So for example, here in China, we do see that there's kind of like a domino effect happening right now. We have seen sometimes like an empty parking lot and then a full parking lot, but I have, we have never seen and thanks to Vuva for this footage here. We have never seen since the beginning of this month and this quarter a constant amount of cars like that. I mean, guys, if we see that here constantly, yes, they are standing there. But you see on the right side on the top, these are cars that will be delivered. There have never been that many cars standing in front of these trucks ready to be, de be, uh, to be, be delivered. This is the most cars we have seen so far and they're constantly coming more. You might see in a few seconds more cars actually driving to that space. So all of the one here down below are for export guys. And we are in Germany actually able now to get the Model Y. For those watching from the United States, it might be um, it might be no big surprise, but um, we have been waiting for the Model Y for a long time. And we are now able to get the Model Y standard range in this case from China as Giga Berlin will be ready by the end of the year. And then the production slowly will start. And they are kind of like two different people um, the one that is waiting for Giga Berlin to be ready because they want to have the new battery cells. And then on the other hand, we have people that can't wait or don't want to wait anymore. And they take the Model Y with the LFP batteries. So again, guys, we do see that Tesla is getting better and better. And the deal to work with LG and Samsung, as I mentioned yesterday, to license at some point as well the batteries um, will bring Tesla even more money to invest into future factories and it will also bring Tesla the capability to put all the new battery cells into the cars in China. I hope you did enjoy my video. I'm always trying to keep you up to date and if you do enjoy my channel, do consider subscribing and I wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you very much.